this video we are playing find the beans so we're starting off around the forest or the spawn location if you do get stuck with any of the beans i do have an order list available in my video description with some timestamps to the different locations or well, please do drop me a comment i'm more than happy to help where i can so the beans the, the characters with the index are rather simplistic but I do still think they've got a little bit of charm about them. I don't know why, I like their little faces and they just seem like chubby and sweet and yeah, I still like them. Um, the map is simplistic but it works. Um, I have noticed though, you will see Desert has had a revamp. So I've actually played this over two updates. So I would recommend obviously to carry on going through and revamping the existing. Um, but it's nice, it does the job. There's a nice sort of difficulty um, mixture to this game as well. What you would think is quite simplistic on the face of it, they actually aren't and some of them are a bit more difficult. I was thinking when you've got all the community fan art in here, why don't you have artists being in there so at least there's a purpose to go in there apart from looking at people's pictures. That might be something for an update for one in there. There is a group join here at Spawn, obviously, as you know, if you are a fan or viewer of my channel, I don't join groups here in Judgment TV, but in order to get that one, you can go ahead if you wish. I love the little bolt sticking out of Rust Bean's head. <laughs> the only thing is, obviously, I can tell what's sort of drawn on paint versus what they've kind of overlaid on the picture. <laughs> I don't know, even being sort of hand-drawn brings this kind of, I don't know, childlike sweetness to it. There are a series of numbers you will see around the map. We will need that for candy. So I will get round to that one in a moment in the video. Greedy bean. <laughs> And if I can ask if you do enjoy this video or any other from Judgment TV, if you can please help to support my channel by liking this video, dropping me a comment, but most importantly, subscribing to my channel and returning to watch some more of my videos. Thank you so, so much. I don't know why Observation Bean has got a cowboy hat on, but I'll go with it. <laughs> It's a shame that sort of here isn't furnished. I think it may have hidden sm small bean, small bean. Um, I love that small. Uh, a little bit better uh, and made that a bit harder. So I'd probably just think about putting a control desk or at least something in there. We've got an obby even I can do up to the tree bean. And this is where I say it's got a nice little mixture of kind of hardness. So this said a light bit of wood or something like that by wooden bean. Now I wouldn't class that as a light piece of wood. That's sort of like a shadow of the sun on it. It's like the sun shining on it. <laughs> so there was me going around trying to find a lighter bit of wood. And that's kind of the same colour, so I don't know. <laughs> but that one is hidden cheekily in that veiled entrance there. We've got Red Bean with an enormous stack of burgers in front of them. I mean, that is really eyes bigger than your belly, potentially. I don't think I could eat what is it six seven burgers that's a lot <laughs> i like the fact that they've got can of beans in here as well because obviously that is a funny take on beans i just think of random ones like you could have an npc that you click on and then you go through and you could get kidney beans <laughs> 
where my mind goes. Oh my goodness. So this was the update. So where we just found that being a banana of all things has been added in the corner. And we've just got to complete this RV over to collect this bean. This is a pretty random bean. I think it's kind of trying to bring memes into the beans. Jump up here, we have apple bean. And again, you could expand it out to fruits if they want to take it down um, that route. I think it's quite clever sometimes when they do simple characters because you could literally whip through them to do the updates. <laughs> you have B underneath the beehive. And we just click on the beehive to get teleported through to get Queen Bee. So this carpet is out of the new update and there are actually two beans to it. So if you go on the respect bean side and wait what feels like an eternity to go through, I will just fast forward this though because otherwise it's going to be pretty boring sitting here waiting for me to do this. And whilst you're watching and waiting there is just enough time to hit that subscribe button. And then we get teleported into this retina burning bright room and what we're looking for is the truss up this is way too much yellow but this is what you're looking for here this really bright truss And you have holy bean and then if you go back to the mat and go on the don't respect side and again you've got to do the same thing so you're gonna to have to stand here and wait but of course again I am going to fast forward it for you And of course, as you would expect, if we've had bright and colourful one side, we've got dark on the other. And this is where we find realistic bean. I absolutely love that one. That's probably one of my favourites. It's probably just like the, the kind of shocked expression of the eyeballs. <laughs> the button on the tree, oh, the red button by the campfire, will take you into spider's layer. And spider comes up and down and obviously will kill you if they touch you. So you've just got to get inside of the locker before the spider comes. Now I will give you a little tip. This area, unbeknownst to me, knocks your sprint off. So although you think you're sprinting, you're not. So if you just press that sprint button again, you will go quicker, which would have made this a hell of a lot easier when I first started. <laughs> But literally just wait for the red light to pass and as soon as it's passed get out and go. And then once you've made your way down the lockers. See what I mean when I say that the sprint makes a difference? <laughs> it was really easy when I found that Sprint could be turned back on again. That is so cheeky. And then we've made it down to the web. Into desert now. 
So again, you will see the map will change in the video. So there has been an upgrade to this area, which is really nice. It really has improved this part of the map. But the beans I found in the old map can still be found roughly in the same places. You're gonna have to be quick on the cacti because obviously they are gonna do damage. You can just about make it up um, and take the full lot of damage in order to get the bean. See, I've just made it. And if you do die, you do go back to spawn. Love the alien spaceships, that's really nice. Love alien bean. And you would kind of think, oh, I wonder why all the spaceships are here. It is actually a purpose, it's how you get in the building here. What was a bit peculiar though is that only the top of the building was utilised and this is where you find the magic lamp for the genie. I do wonder if they're going to do something else with that building because it just seems a tad peculiar. And to be honest, I would probably stick with the kind of temple ruins rather than what looks like the start of an apartment block. <laughs> I quite like sand, it's sort of like the Roblox sand texture but then like the realistic sand to sort of hair, I quite like that. Of course where else are you going to find coconut bean? And the thing is there is still room in the desert to put some more stuff in. Like the pyramid is the actual inside of the pyramid isn't you, so you could do a real kind of pharaoh style in there. So you can start to see how the area has sort of been revamped. So we've got some hills been added, we've got some, I don't know if there's meant to be sphinx um, outside of the temple. And I do think that this has really just kind of improved this map uh, quite well. You still have the weird apartment block, which again, nothing's been added to. So making our way up the hill, we can find dry grass bean. And then we have a walkway between the two islands. So this is the button that you need for orange. And there's the door, so I would recommend zooming right the way out and pressing the button until you see the door open. It's pretty temperamental and when the door does open, it is on a timer, so you are gonna have to be quick, get down and into the room. See, this is me clicking all over the cacti. I don't, see, it doesn't light up. It does, I didn't have my volume on, which didn't help. Um, so hence why I just kind of kept going back and checking. Nope. <laughs> the thing is, I'd seen it open once, so I knew the button worked, and you just saw a flash of it working there. So again, look, I didn't understand what was going on, and then suddenly it opened and opened for a while and shut, and I didn't know if, if I was going to have to have a friend stand on there, but it does work, so just keep at it. When it opens for a little while, get down and get in to get orange. And then on the end of this island you will see, oh, my heart just sank, a difficulty chart realm. So I knew this was going to be Obby and I knew it was going to get harder as the uh, Obby went on. So it starts off nice and relatively easy, thank god for checkpoints, so the developer has been nice, they have put checkpoints in, they could have been super mean and have not put those in and if you died you went back to sort of either the star or the start at spawn. I, probably would have held my iPad and I don't think I would have got as many as I did. <laughs> but for all of you who doubt my obby skills, I mean, okay, I did die and I've had edited them out, but, but I did get through it. <laughs> so I can obby, I just have to have a couple of attempts at it. <laughs> So we've got a lovely invisible path here and for Old Bean, again, it 
it's a long walk so I'm just gonna go super sonic quick um, just follow the path you can see it it has just a couple of turns but nice and easy it's just a tad tedious with how long it is and there is old I do feel like myself I've aged doing that walk <laughs> You can see how far you've walked from how far away the obby is. <laughs> but again, just walk off and you'll go back to the orange. See, look, you all doubt my obby skills. Look, I'm proving it here. I can do it eventually. <laughs> and this bit, I will say, I did it first try. I was so impressed with myself. <laughs> And one of my worst things, I hate what I call knife edge walks. I'm not a fan of them at all. But of course, this is where we're going to find Thin Bean on a thin plank. So that is nicely placed. And then obviously, if you fall, just be careful not to hit one of the other checkpoints. So you're going to have to do that stage again. And then we get on to the blue section. So I didn't get the last bean. <laughs> oh, I hate it. I got so far and I was so pleased with myself. I was at the end of the obby. And I know in theory what you have to do, you have to get on the back of the truss and then sort of fling yourself backwards to get onto that other one. Could I catch the back of that truss? Nope. I don't know how you're supposed to jump that far without sprints and catch the back of that truss. The truss also isn't long enough for me to let go, turn and catch it again like I would do normally. So for the sake of my iPad difficulty being, you can just remain uncollected, but that is how you get it. On to the city area now. And I like the fact you can talk to the NPCs if you want to, they each have their sort of own comments, but they're walking around the map. It may have been nice for them not to be grey and look like something, but again, that could be something easily added in an update. But we've got birthday being by themselves. Uh, they're either very early to the party or nobody has turned up. Clicking on the arcade machine and... There's always a maze, like I can't get away from mazes, I suck at them, I hate them, and yet they're always in these games. <laughs> I'm really sorry if you're trying to follow this. Um, Hopefully you can just make your own way through the maze if you're a pro at it and, and find this one no problems. See I don't know whether Pac-Man is supposed to chase you or not but that would have been a lovely addition. I know it would have made the maze harder. Why am I saying these things? But I would have really have liked that to have Pac-Man or the ghosts chasing you or both. I think that would be great if they could add that in in an update. And then we have finally made it through to the Pac Bean. And I love that one, the styling of it. Um, that's again, it's probably one of my favorite beans um, of the game. You could easily have pinball, so if you're actually the ball and go around a pinball machine, I've never seen that before, but that would be absolutely awesome. And then you've got to kind of roll over another bean, maybe. I wonder if you could do it like a pinball game inside of another finder game, like that. I have mastered head hitters, so I can get up here. And on the back of the arcade sign, we have neon. 
Well, I would say neon red, but then like there's no other colours that they've added in, so maybe something to jazz up City by getting some more neon in here. And there's a massive bean there, and yet it's not a bean to collect. Why isn't that like graffiti bean? All you'd have to put is like bean was ear, and then that is graffiti bean done. <laughs> or another style of graffiti bean, I should say, because there is um, graffiti on the other side of city. We have roof bean. And I don't know why that's brick, and then the actual bean itself is tile. The supermarket is a little bit of a letdown. It doesn't feel like a supermarket. I think they need to get some of those kind of strip lights, maybe a different flooring, and stack the shelves, uh, get some fridges. Again, with fridges, you could have sort of frozen bean, um, ice bean, something like that in there. So there's opportunities to kind of revamp the supermarket and add some more in there. And I love my play on words, Labine James, that is brilliant. <laughs> they need to add some more in like that. Uh, and I love the fact that the basket bean, again, like that, um, is the shape of the bean rather than an actual basketball. That brings a little bit of humour to the game that I really enjoy when they kind of bring that in. See, trash bean's the only one that looks like an actual trash bag. I'm saying trash, rubbish bag, we don't say trash here in the UK. <laughs> we have coffee bean in an empty room again. Maybe if they filled that out as in like a proper storage room for the coffee house below, it may just hide that bean a little bit better. It sticks out like a sore thumb when there's nothing else there. You've got barista bean. Again, potentially put some tables or something, or like the, the bar. It just needs that slight bit more of attention to detail for me. Even sort of the city, it's quite there. You could put mailboxes in, um, you know, the fire hydrants and street lights, just to fill up the space outside because they're very big and bare roads. Going into the bank now, again a vault door might be nice and um, you could potentially bring in that button press that you did with the spider. So obviously you have to press maybe the panic button underneath the counter in order to open the vault to come into diamond. A bank would never have this open, I know there's like a gazillion laser beams but like you would have that vault door. It may just make that feel a bit more like a bank inside. this is literally just being mindful of all of your extremities as well as your head. Although thankfully I did think it was going to kill me straight off but it does just take damage so essentially if you're quick enough you can just walk through it. <laughs> Again, you could have bank teller beam behind the counter to bring in that bank theme to it. Citizen beam. <laughs> you could potentially put an apartment block into the city. Again, that's a real opportunity to put some different style of beans. A hospital, so you can start having doctor, nurse, patient, skeleton. <laughs> For the one that didn't make it. <laughs> and of course, there's always an easier way to get up to these things. So climbing the ropes that are available to get onto the actual roof itself. 
There's me trying to jump in the trees, like seriously. I always have to try the awkward way first. And dropping down and into the roof. And we've got a slightly harder one, and this is to go ahead and get Ruby Bean. Again, it doesn't kill you straight off, you're just going to take damage. I like the movement in this because it just brings that life, it's not static. So this is where I say like some of them are slightly harder. So you could really easily walk past this, but notice the turtle there with the key on its back. Click on that and we get teleported into this room. I love the curls, I'm very jealous. That sort of dead 50s style, isn't it? The barrel rolls, I think they're called. Fancy being that one is. You could do a mansion in here to have fancy bean, and they could be having a masquerade ball. So I missed one um, in the basketball court, and there's actually a teeny weeny basketball right in the corner. So again, if you click on this one, and we are taken through to this slide, and it, in theory it's easy. Go down the slide, try and hit the basketball. Except I came up short so many times. This took me quite a few attempts sliding down here. I did get to the point where I was going to give up. I can't say that there was a trick. Um, it's just if you can get inside of the net, you will get golden basketball. Our next area is candy. And again, I like this area. Don't touch the chocolate river, you will die and go back to spawn. Like so, but at least my dismembered body managed to hit dipped bean. <laughs> so this area, like the other ones, has got some nice little bits. So we've got actually a teleport through one of the jellies. There we go, and then these jellies are little kind of mini trampolines. So again, this is something just fun to do to collect jelly bean. Of course you've got to have jelly bean, one of my favourite sweets ever. Although weirdly, I'm not a huge fan of jelly belly, I think some of the uh, flavours are repulsive let alone the bamboozle one where they have like vomit and socks and fish and dog food and the, the rest of it. We tried it with the kids, they had literally like two of the nasty ones and then refused to have any more. I think we ended up chucking it after about six months of being in the cupboard and no one dare eating one. <laughs> And again, there's opportunity still to fill out some more in candy as well. You could use some more veiled entrances. I don't know why marshmallow looks like a rectangle. It looks more like a marshmallow than it does a bean, which is a bit disappointing. I think they should have just kept it as a bean.
We have cotton candy bean. See, that looks like cotton candy, but it still is the bean. And I always love this. Why do people ask, oh my God, are you the real Judgment TV? Who's going to impersonate me? Like, <laughs> say, oh, the forgotten bean. I don't know what I'm doing with this, so I will show you where all of the numbers are. I've clicked them, I've walked on them. So it says in the order, so obviously I went one, two, three, four, five, and so on. So if there is an order to the number, I swear to God, I'm not gonna go to each of these and try like one, two, three, one, two, four. It, it's just not gonna happen. I mean, with six numbers, there's a million different combinations. I haven't seen a code anywhere that would indicate what I need to put in. I don't know if I've missed it. If you do know if there is a particular order or what I am doing wrong, if you can please drop me a comment because I am interested. Seeing as I have found all of the numbers, it's infuriating. And it would probably be better for the users if you do have to click them, if the button turns a different colour so you know that you've clicked it. Because obviously clicking them out of order you have to start all over again. Potentially I've made a faux pas by not playing with my sound on, but when I'm playing around the family they get annoyed with the music on some of these games so I have to play them on mute. <laughs> I don't even know if I've missed one. I don't think I have. I've found nine. Um, so the last one is here in desert. And then Forgotten Bean Store is just down here. I mean, what a big tease as well as this is that if you go near the waterfall near Forgotten Bean you can actually see it if you do the shift lock out and zoom your screen but obviously this is the door I don't know press enter I think you get to go through if you've got the the, the buttons I have no idea Chunky, we can find candy in a lovely veiled entrance. And then, what do I always say about waterfalls? Just check behind them. So, this was added in the new update of Chocolate Bean. into sky now so into the fan you will see this one here so don't be tempted to try and get it washed or in the fan as far as I'm aware I don't think you can get it this way and um, you need to go up to the cloud itself and then jump off And what I love about this is that the clouds, they still have the transparent elements at the bottom. So you do really feel like you're going to fall through. Um, this is probably one of the best clouds uh, for the background uh, of the platform I've seen in one of these games. Usually it's like a white block or you know, a series of white rectangles. When I think of clouds, when I think of heaven, 
This is what I think. I think of these fluffy clouds, but they're not clumped in one massive lump. I love this script into this area. See, I think that should be an area down in the actual main map itself and then sort of have this as heaven you could then also do a sort of fall from grace and end up in hell and then you can have sort of your devil bean <laughs> i wonder if they're going to do something for halloween with all like the frankenstein and pumpkin and skeleton and ghost and you know zombie I get very excited about those being a bit gothic myself. <laughs> I would also potentially take away those arrows and just let people find them. Um, it makes it really simple when you're telling people where to go. The thing is they haven't done that in any other part of the map so why do it here? And just as an ask if you want to be my knight in shining armor if you can please hit that subscribe button if it is still red and to help support my channel thank you so so much <laughs> this is another one that I'm going to take is I have shown you where it is I have found it oh have I collected it no I don't know how to get past this bit I I'm so close it's so infuriating I'm so close but I'm so far away from it I think you have to go up the kind of side of it I mean I'm going to kick myself if there's an invisible truss to get up there and I'm trying to climb this star or sword whatever it is but I just I haven't found any other way up here and I just can't seem to catch it to carry on going up I always seem to drop off and I don't know what I'm doing wrong so again to make sure that I have an iPad tomorrow I'm just gonna have to call this one quits and accept defeat but that is Starbeam this is where you're all going to be like, oh, it's so easy, I managed to do it. You know I suck at things like that. I'm not very good at obby, so. <laughs> cloud is nicely tucked underneath the cloud base there. Nice and easy. that are truly unknown to me the ones that I don't know how to get obviously I did start forgotten super bean says put something supportive in the chat so I've tried some things that I've thought of like good game and I love this game uh, supportive I don't know I where do you know what to put in there like Is it on their group that they put something there for you to, to put in here because you've supported them by joining their group? I have no idea. I mean, it would help if I could spell, but... if you, Again, if you know what to put in there, I would be so grateful so I could at least get that one. And then the only one I didn't get was Stud Bean in the um, Obby Round, the difficulty chart. No idea where that is. I've dropped off a load of the platforms. I've tried to look for it. No idea. Again, if you know where that is, please do let me know in a comment. 
and there we have it thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you real soon in my next update bye